morning. It's amazing. Not the best thing I've ever seen. You gotta make this hard. <laughs> 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 Soulless Flicks here, I'm Rob and I'm Roy and uh, this is our review of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. This is going to be our spoiler free review. We will have a, a certain point in the video where we have a warning on the screen for spoilers so uh, the beginning of it will just be our general thoughts and then afterwards we'll let you know when there's spoilers so we can talk about some of the, the in-depth stuff about the movie but if you enjoy our commentary give us a like consider subscribing and let us know in the comments below your thoughts on the movie if you've seen it yet if you haven't seen it very highly recommend that you go out and watch it honestly uh, it's a good fucking movie yeah good fucking movie so enjoy our review so uh what are your thoughts uh general thoughts on into uh, across the spider-verse across the spider-verse oh it was it was great i'll give it a good solid eight out of ten eight out of ten right out the bat right out of the bat you so uh so yeah like it it started off a little slow for me the like the first act mm -hmm. but after the first act i mean you have to wait for the build up yeah you know? yeah you know they're they're reintroducing the characters and shit you mm -hmm. know they're showing what 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 miles has been up to mm -hmm. and and what gwen's been up to um so that was probably the slowest part of the movie you know but other after the first act it just starts fucking like it does non-stop it's just going it's just going yeah so and it leaves you waiting for more <laughs> yeah Honestly, oh yeah i just wanted more yeah <laughs> Uh, I, I almost forgot that this is a two-parter, uh, uh, so this... I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. Look, across the Spider-Verse, part one. <laughs> <laughs> when did they put the part one? I never, see, I never uh, saw no, it. No, they, uh, uh, they, uh, they changed that, so instead of doing part one and part two, they uh, they named the, the second one Beyond the Spider-Verse. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. or the okay. third one, I guess, in, in the, in the one, series. Yeah. But um, yeah, this 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 was great. Like again, I was worried in the beginning. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, hey, damn, the first one. Uh, I kind of vibe with the first one better. Mm -hmm. But no, it, uh, it 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 rebounded right off the bat. Um, yeah. The uh, uh, love Miles. Love to see where he's at. You mm -hmm. know, As I said. I think they mentioned like he's been Spider Man for about a year now. Mm -hmm. um, so he's getting into his groove and everything. Yeah. And of course, I mean, he misses his friends, you know, the people he met and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Then you bring in the relationship with his parents and, you know, it's Spider-Man. Something's yeah. bound to happen. Yeah, right? it's like classic Spider-Man struggles. Uh, like I said, nothing spoilery-ish yet. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, the classic thing that every Spider-Man that we've ever seen deals with is trying to uh, do the double life, you know, the yeah. balance between it. Um, and I love... I love how they have that for the character always in any kind of medium, especially in this movie where it's like it's a sacrifice to be Spider-Man. Yeah. It's not like a great thing. With great, with great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, exactly. Um, but that was and then the animation. Oh, could, the animation was crisp. I don't know. I kept thinking I had to like take myself out of the movie at certain points because I was like how fucking long did it take them to animate this shit dude for real like, like when you saw the first one it didn't come out in theaters so it was uh what it wasn't a platform right wait what are you talking about the first movie yeah it came out in theaters it came out in theaters yeah it didn't make a lot of money like it didn't make a super amount of money it, it was kind of I remember seeing it at home it was like a sleeper hit but oh, okay that's all but mm -hmm. I remember when I watched it I was like dude this animation is it, it's something because it's like it's I don't know if you've ever seen uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the world. I heard it's really good. Yeah. You seen it? Mm -mm. So it brings the good, you know, comic book life to the to the screen. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's what this movie in the in the first one did perfectly. And then the, the second one, they did it just even better than that. Yeah. They fucking killed it when it mm -hmm. came to just the comic book feel of it mm -hmm. and then the uh just the animation in general when they're fighting when they talk like just in every moment of the damn movie because the whole fucking movie is animated mm -hmm. is is phenomenal like um it just it, i kind of understand how long why it took as long as it did for the mm -hmm. sequel to come out it's making me worried though about the next movie i'm like if they put as much time into the animation as they did in this one next year take yeah. it out next year <laughs> <laughs> i need it tomorrow <laughs> four years from now it'll be out a lot of a lot of cameos, a lot of Easter eggs. We'll get into that more in the spoiler section, but yes. this this movie's filled with fucking fan service, which you know I love. You know? you know, in a like you said, it's a lot, but in the movie, it is actually not a lot. Like it doesn't overwhelm the movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it's just little here and there. It's a lot, a lot of little here and there, but it doesn't over. It doesn't base on that. Yeah, just like uh, on the Spider-Man three movie. 
Uh, no Way Home. Yeah, No Way Home. Mm -hmm. Like that one relied on the old characters. This one didn't. Yeah, yeah. The cameos are and Easter eggs are Easter eggs. Like yeah. the main story is still the main story dealing with Miles, Gwen, um, you know, his family, his struggles and whatnot. The the cameos and the Easter eggs, they're just fun little little tidbits. It's not like No Way Home where it's an, an integral part of the story, yeah. you know. Um but uh, we could talk about it because it was in the uh, uh, trailers, but the spider compound. I don't know if they ever had a name for it. I wasn't, or the headquarters. Yeah. Uh, I, I remember watching, uh, there was this cartoon of uh, Spider-Man 2099 when I was younger, mm -hmm. but that's all I remember. I just remember seeing it on, on TV. That's yeah. it. I don't remember if they had like a compound or anything like that. I remember from the old cartoon, they used to have the Spider-Verse thing as well. Yeah, yeah. But it was with Madame Webb. It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, Miguel O'Hara. Yeah. Right? So, I don't know. Uh, maybe I should have reviewed that a little more. <laughs> <laughs> now, with that, it's like that that scene, not, well, it's multiple scenes. That that uh, part of the movie in and of itself, I was kept thinking about, I wrote it in my notes, is like that scene is made for repeat watching because there is so many fucking Easter eggs in yeah. those scenes that you, you have know, to see it frame by frame. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I even thought about that going in. I was like, I could come and rewatch this movie again. And I probably wouldn't even catch like maybe it wouldn't be worth uh, it. Cause I wouldn't catch as many references yeah. I wanted to. I mean, to. what you see in the trailer is only but a glimpse of yes. what you're going to see. Like you would have to, you know, wait for this movie to come out on, on digital. And then mm. like you said, go frame by frame to catch everything that yeah. they put into it. So that's definitely, you know, I, I'm down to do that. But, um, do you have anything else before we go into spoilers? No, I, I just, I, I just want to talk about the spoilers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it, it's hard to talk about this movie without spoilers. It, yeah. It's, it's really hard not to Yeah. You know? it's official spoiler, uh, spoiler warning. We're going into spoilers right now. If you haven't seen the movie and you still want to go in unspoiled, then I would click away. Uh, if you don't care about spoilers or if you've already seen the movie, then uh, stick around with us and we'll yeah. start talking about the uh, actual shit that happened in the movie. Yeah. Um, so we could start from the beginning and yeah. work our way. So it starts with, uh, uh, when, when Stacy, Oh yeah. Yeah. Spider -Man. It's got, it cuts in with a scene of her playing the drums in a band, but you don't know she's playing in a band yet. And it's just replaying in her head, the moments of the past movie or in her backstory and stuff like that. And it's a really great scene just to get you hooked on her story. Yeah. Uh, you think you're gonna see Miles Morales, Miles Morales right away, but you don't. You see Gwen Stacy first, yeah. and you get to see her part and how she becomes part of this. Uh, what did they call the team? Or the? They just referred to it like the elite task force. Yeah, the elite task. Yeah. Um, <laughs> X Force. <laughs> uh, and then we cut into Miles Morales, and we get to see where he's at and with his family. Just trying to buy this balance you know miles morales and spider-man mm -hmm. just like any other spider-man right? yeah so they it, like like you said i expected it to start out with miles so i was a little surprised that it started out with gwen mm -hmm. to see where she's at and then kind of set her up to see how she joined this elite task force and how she's traveling the multiverse um and then we cut to miles yeah. and, you know before he, we move on to miles i just oh yeah on. she they didn't really explain how she didn't save peter parker in the first movie so whenever I, oh, when, yeah. whenever she says she couldn't save Peter, I thought she like her Peter died like <laughs> when Stacy died. Like, <laughs> 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 but no, he he was the what's it called the. Uh, was that a lizard? Yeah, the lizard. Okay, okay, yeah. I was yeah. like, I was a little it, confused. In that. It, it looked like a lizard, but yeah, it, it looked, was a lizard. It, it was like the Green Goblin in the first movie. You know, mm -hmm. he was huge yeah. and stuff like that, kind of like that. But he was a lizard. Okay. And, well, she didn't know it was him, and they ended up fighting, and he died. So he, she basically killed them. Yeah. So uh, by trying to save him, I guess you yeah. know. That was pretty deep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was fucking heavy. I did not expect that. I was like, "Fuck!" You know, she messed up. <laughs> so you kind of see how her struggle and how mm -hmm. how she got to where she is. Like it, it's mentioned in this movie is like all the Spider Men, they're they're there because of the trauma that they've, you know, gone through. Yeah. It's like, there's no Spider-Man without that trauma. Yeah. Uh, uh, and we, we've seen that, you know, countless times in fucking every Spider-Man medium, mm -hmm. you know, whether it be uncle Ben, aunt may, uh, 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 uncle Aaron, or even in the, uh, the Spider-Man games, the, uh, the father, Jefferson Davis. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, it was nice to see her backstory. Yes. And then, you know, we cut to miles, see where he's at the struggle, he's struggling between school and, you know, uh, being a hero and then, you know, keeping the secret from his pre parents. Yeah. 
And then we meet the, from what I've seen from the, the fucking co- uh, commercials, the spot. the spot. I have never, <laughs> like, you know, I've seen people in comments saying, oh, thank God they finally given this guy. I've never heard of this guy. No, I, I had, I, I've yeah. seen Spider-Man since I grew up. And I love Spider-Man. I had never heard of him before. Yeah. So maybe uh, we can look up his first appearance. And yeah, yeah. Screen, I kind of get know, a little little bit of backstory. Yeah, because I had never heard of him. But he was he was hilarious. Yes, that it was funny. The first scene, and I think they they uh, uh, they had it in the trailer. So when I seen him in the trailer, I was like, oh, this dude's pretty goofy. But I kind of like it. I like it. It was kind of mm-hmm. like oh, this stupid villain uh, for the beginning of the movie, just to mm-hmm. show Miles, you know, uh, taking someone down. But that whole you know fight scene was great. It was phenomenal. His powers were 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 really cool and how they used it. But. You need to talk about the bagel. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the, it's the fucking guy he from got, the first one. He's the guy from the first one that got hit with a bagel. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that scene, bro. He, he keeps, was, yeah, he keeps referencing, like, you know, you made me, and then, mm-hmm. you know, I, I made you, you made me. I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? I don't remember him. <laughs> you hit me with a bagel. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back now in the original yeah. and see if, like, it, 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 if it, they use the same, like, uh, uh, animation guy like you know animated guy in the same one sometimes yeah. they retcon little yeah. stuff like that but uh no that was that was pretty funny but then going and, and i guess we'll skip over some stuff right now just because we're talking about the villain because we'll, yeah. we'll se- let's segue into the villain because he was the villain for probably the you know the first half of the movie yeah. he went from goofy funny to like fucking menacing yeah and like i was like holy shit like this this guy's a threat. Like, you know, it's, it's kind of, he's might, uh, made out to be a joke. He's the uh, villain of the week. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, he starts leveling up and then he like, he loses that kind of, kind of comedic uh, kind of tone about him. He's like, no, I'm going to fucking take away everything yeah. from you. And I'm like, whoa, Honestly. whoa, whoa. I thought it was amazing. I, I love, I love when Marvel gets dark. Yes. And, yeah. And that's the best. Yeah. Mm-hmm. His character turned really fucking dark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> that's true <laughs> if you've seen the movie you know yeah <laughs> um okay but what do you think did you have anything to add about him no i mean we really don't know much about him but mm-hmm. besides that he can control the multiverse and stuff like that yeah jump between places yeah jump between places and stuff like that which it was it was pretty fun to see uh, but other than that i just have really great expectations to him for him in the next movie you yeah know, i want to see him like being fucking insane you know yeah Going cuckoo a little bit because i mean he has he's trying to control the multiverse and stuff yeah and that shit was creepy like mm-hmm. those scenes in the middle of the movie when he starts going super kind of dark and it was it was really creepy i loved it um and then also his fighting style and like you know because it, it's mentioned when you first see him that he's brand new like mm-hmm. that he just got his powers um so he's kind of he's very clumsy but as the movie progresses especially in the last scene that you see him uh, you know fighting the spider-man He's gotten way better. Like he's, yeah. he's gotten better he, at. He learned how to control it. Yeah, yeah, to control his his ability. So I thought that was pretty cool to see yeah. the progression. Because at first he's just trying to rob a what is it? A, an ATM. <laughs> an ATM from a fucking like a bodega. A, yeah, for <laughs> real. And he can't even do that. Like yeah. he doesn't even know how to use his powers or anything. And Spider Man's trying to kick his ass as well. But since Spider Man doesn't know what he do, and he does, the guy doesn't even know. What he <laughs> do, they're both like fighting. The same person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like messing up constantly and hitting each other by accident. Um, there was a point in the movie where he kicked his own butt. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That was, yeah, there's a lot of cute moments like that yeah. in this movie. It was funny and stupid. I like, yeah. It wasn't too che- It wasn't cheesy. It was funny. It was like stupid funny. Yeah. Um, so we're introduced to the spot and then we learn that, you know, after he kind of levels up his power, mm-hmm. that he is becoming a threat to the multiverse as a whole. Yeah. And Gwen Stacy shows up to Miles' universe, and at first he thinks it's because you know there she's there to like to see him to see him, you know, just uh, just popping in, you know, and <laughs> fucking she's a dick. She's just there literally on business. Yeah, but she just so happened to be in his universe, so she stopped by to see him. Yeah, but you know, she still cares for yeah, him. Yeah, she so. still cares for him. It's just that, uh, well, we got revealed that you know, like his spider came from another universe and oh, he yeah. got bit. So the Spider-Man that in that universe never became Spider-Man. So the Peter Parker in that universe never became Spider-Man. So that there's a world without a Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. And now Miles Morales is basic was never supposed to happen. Yeah. So he's basically not even supposed to be Spider-Man at all. So they're trying to work with that, but it's all in a secret against Miles Morales. And now he's got friends that live in the multiverse that don't really want to do that, but Miguel O'Hara 
he's in charge of all of this and well he kind of destroyed the world by trying to save his daughter yeah so there's a whole controversy of whether he is gonna stay being super uh superman <laughs> <laughs> spider-man or they're just gonna you know see, deal with him or anything yeah he's he's probably the, the superman of spider-man i looked up his i didn't know anything about miguel o'hara except that he was spider-man nine or 2099 2099 and i know that from like past video games and, and cartoons but i've never known like his backstory i've just known he's future spider-man that's all i've known yeah so i looked it up he came out around the same time that batman beyond came out oh no shit when yeah. they were doing that yeah it was, it was great i remember like both of them were like one of my favorite when i was a kid yeah, no, yeah, yeah they both are badass. Mm -hmm. But I looked it up, and he's like, he got his genes altered, so he's fifty percent spider, fifty percent human. That's why he's like, he's not, he's different than other Spider Men, where mm -hmm. he's like, that's why he has the fangs and the claws. Yeah, like whenever that scene happened with the fangs, and he was like about to, yeah, he was about to what? fucking was, bite someone's dude, throat. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, it, remind, it reminded me of the old cartoon whenever uh, Peter Parker kind of turns into a spider back. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, he was about to <laughs> rip out a motherfucker's throat. Like, mm -hmm. I was like, wait a minute. And then, like, you know, he, you know, it, 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 it turned to a different scene. But I was like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. it, that caught me off guard. But that was pretty cool to see. But yeah. um, he, uh, he was the main antagonist in this movie. Yeah, Spot kind of. Uh, uh, he, he was the villain. Yeah. But uh, Miguel O'Hara was the antagonist. Oh, yeah. 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 Big time. He so, played a big role. Yeah, after after Gwen Stacy popped into uh, uh, Miles's world, and Miles finds out that she's just there to kind of, uh, they're kind of like the TVA in, yeah, yeah, in, in the like MCU. That, yeah. They they go around multiverses, kind of cleaning up uh, 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 anomalies, and he follows her back to um, it's like an Indian version of yeah. of Manhattan, and Miles stops basically a fixed point in time. You mm -hmm. know, he saves someone that who the cannon, the, yeah, ca they're the captain. Yeah, oh, it's a cannon. The cannon. Yeah. Yeah, so basically the scanner moments and all the Spider-Man comics and stuff like that. And they know that. And they you're not supposed to mess with them, just like in uh, the TVA. Yeah. Uh, there's like certain points you, points you can't mix or fix from the timeline and yeah. stuff like that. So basically, uh, Miles saves the captain of that universe, that, yeah. you know, uh, Indian Manhattan um, and that's connected to that, you know, universe of Spider-Man. But... That's a fixed point in all of the universes where the the police captain is supposed to die. Yeah. So, um, you know, they take him. That's supposed to be like his uncle Ben. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so he gets. Uh, they take him back to the uh, Spider-Man compound, uh, or where there's you seen it in the trailer where there's a fucking infinite amount of Spider-Man. Honestly. And it's amazing, <laughs> you know, to try to point it out, trying to. <laughs> where's the fucking? Where's the? Where's the video with game? Where's Spider-Man? Where's Spider-Man? <laughs> <laughs> um. So, you know, that, that scene was amazing to see, you know, all the different, you know, kinds from the comics, the ones they made up just for the film. It was great. Yeah, you, you even get to see the the comic Spider-Man in 2D version. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. completely misses his punch because he's in 2D. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that was fucking... And then <laughs> any... And like I said, we're, we're in deep spoilers, so these are, like, a lot of the cameos yeah. that we're about to mention. They mentioned Tom, Hall uh, Tom Holland. Tom Joe, Holland. Uh, they, mentioned, they mentioned him in the trailer, so I was, like, yeah. not excited for that. But they showed up uh, Andrew Garfield. And, and then, Toby. Uh, Toby Maguire as yeah. well. So. so, like, they are literally... The footage from those movies are in this film. Mm -hmm. uh, they showed... I was No, it was Miles' uh, Miles' roommate, Genki. He was mm -hmm. playing the fucking Spider-Man yeah. video game. And then you see the actual, you know, Spider-Man uh, uh, character from the video game in yeah, here too. Um, just like scenes like that, I was just like, "What the fuck?" Even um, when you're in the compound and it's showing some of the villains that are captured that they're waiting to send back to the universes. Um, Donald Glover's Prowler, Child is gonna be no yeah, because he's in a, a fucking, you know, the No Way Home or uh, Homecoming, Spider-Man Homecoming. And he mentions that he has a uh, uh, a nephew that you know lives in the yeah. neighborhood. I Did think. you know that he he was an inspiration for Miles Morales? Really? Yeah. I think I heard that way yeah, back. Yeah, I when. saw it in a video somewhere uh, where he I think he was in a video and he had a he was playing the Spider-Man game or he was watching oh, Spider-Man yeah, something, yeah. and then they made uh, Miles Morales. No shit. Yeah. So. I mean, Miles Morales is not is not that old. He was, yeah, yeah. He's it, it's literally within the last what like 15 years yeah probably yeah so yeah it was great that he he actually like came out in this movie yeah so because everyone's been wondering about that in the mcu of like that that was a throwaway line in homecoming which came out what in 2017 2018 mm -hmm. yeah like, it came out so long ago and they really haven't done anything with that like with 
his character or you know his throwaway line about you know his his uh, nephew so it was nice to see that oh he's the he's the prowler mm -hmm. you know uh that was that was a nice little easter egg um but they go to the compound and they meet spider-man 2099 yes. and he's a dickhead <laughs> <laughs> a you can see it in his face yeah he's tired he's I mean, he lost his daughter. Oh, okay. And yeah. then he came to he went to another another universe and killed everyone <laughs> to try to get his family back and blah blah blah. He replaced the other Spider Man, and that basically how what is it called in the in the TVA pruning, like a universe gets pruned. Yeah, something thought? like that. No, it has a fucking name. <laughs> but whenever the world, the universe gets uh, destroyed, there's there's a word for it. Oh fuck! Now, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking in about. The, in the Marvel universe. Yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> actually, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, he he's he's tired. I mean, I get it. He's he put the whole multiverse on his shoulders. Mm -hmm. So I get it. He, but he's kind of like overgrown with power, and he's trying to control every little thing. So he's. Yeah, he's the fuck out. It, you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself <laughs> become the villain. He's he's the fucking villain now. Mm -hmm. Like he, there's a point in the movie where where Miles or no, it was Miles that said we're supposed to be the good guys. Yeah, and you know Miguel O'Hara, Spider Man twenty ninety nine said we are the good guys, but he is so he's so far gone yeah. to where if if you're letting innocent people die. And I understand his point of view because he doesn't think there's another way. Mm -hmm. I mean, at that point, you know, are you are you really the the hero? Yeah. Maybe there is no hero in that in, in that instance. Maybe. Yeah. You know. I mean, there's just so many possibilities that. Yeah. I mean, and we didn't get to see the resolution of that because it's in the fucking, yeah fucking part the next movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> I fucking hate it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, that that whole scene with the the Spider-Man compound, great. I love seeing Miles like he's like, nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make my own way. Yeah, like my, my own story. Nobody yeah. tells me how to write my story. Yeah, and it, it, it was pretty fucking hot. He has the exaggerated <laughs> swagger of a black teen. Yeah, <laughs> do you know where that's from? No, no. It reminded me of fucking uh, uh, Michael Jordan. What the he, fuck? Uh, Michael B. Jordan. Oh, Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> I was like, Michael Jordan. <laughs> no, uh, when whenever he's like, nah, I want the throne. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, nah, I write my own story. I was like, nah, bro. <laughs> oh, hell. No, yeah, that was that was a good line. That was a good good little sequence. Mm -hmm. um, uh, did you, I don't know if you rewatched the first movie, but uh, in the post credit scene, you get Spider-Man 2099 at the end. And he's like this skinny dude. In this movie, he's... Oh, yeah. He's fucking huge. Oh, my, with the scenes where you see him from the back, you can see the muscles move. And I was like, this motherfucker's jacked, bro. Yeah, they, they, they changed his his, uh, mm -hmm. his his animation a little bit. But, mm -hmm. um, but yeah. It was good. Yeah, it was good. So after, after Miles escapes from the compound because... Um, oh, yeah, because they were still going to... And it was a secret kept from him from Gwen, by Gwen by Peter, the original Peter. Um, everyone, basically. Yeah, everyone that his dad, when he, dad, when his dad becomes captain, his dad's going to die. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing he can do about it. They won't let him stop it. And it's just, it's a fixed point. It has to happen or the multiverse could collapse. Yeah. And that's where he goes into the line where he's like, nah, he's going to write his own story. He's not going to let his dad die. Yeah, he's not just going to stand know. there and he's, not and do nothing. Yeah, you know? he's going to find a way to, to save to save his dad and save, you know, the, the, the multiverse. He's not gonna, he's not gonna sacrifice his dad, which is, 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 is great. It's funny because uh, Michael O'Hara is like, don't even get me started with the, with the guy from, uh, what is it? Oh, the, uh, uh, yeah, from Doctor Earth, Strange. And yeah, the, from Doctor Strange and the little guy from Earth 1999. Uh, it's basically the same thing. Yeah, it's the it's, same situation. It's Doctor Strange and fucking Tom Holland right there. Oh, um, but, but yeah, so, so Miles escapes, he goes back. To Earth 42, his home, and his he's home. Yeah, he's talking because to his. Basically, that's where his spider is from. Yes, it's the world without without Spider -Man. a Spider Man. Yeah, but we don't know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a big reveal. You know, when he's mm -hmm. trying to tell his mom that he's Spider Man. I didn't even see it coming. Bro. Yeah. So when when he's teleporting, and it it it, it the machine makes a, a a point to say. Oh, got your DNA. I'm going to take you to this earth. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, they made it a point to say that that spider that bit him originally was not from his earth. It was from another earth. 
So I thought about that, but I was like, I completely forgot about it. Yeah, me, once, I completely. Yeah. yeah, once once he he was talking to his mom, I was like, what the fuck's going on? I was like, in my mind, I was like, just fight Spot already. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I was like, maybe he's his mom is just super oblivious. Like she has no idea. Like dude, for real, <laughs> dude. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, she's like, who the fuck is Spider Man? I don't know. I'm just <laughs> doing my job and trying to raise my son and shit. But you know, it turns out is like he went to the Earth that the original Spider that bit him is from, where there's no Spider Man because that Spider got transported to his Earth. Um, and that's why, you know, he's kind of an, an anomaly because mm -hmm. he was never supposed to be Spider-Man because that spider obviously was never supposed to go to his universe. Um, and, uh, and in the universe that he does end up going to where his mom doesn't know who Spider-Man is cause there is no Spider-Man. I mean, the city's fucking wrecked. It's on fire. It looks like fucking Detroit regularly. Yeah. <laughs> it's on fire. There's smoke and shit. Uh, it, looks or, like, it looks like Gotham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or fucking like the the, the Chicago in mm. the <laughs> parts of Chicago. I don't know. He's on fire, mm. and and his uh, he sees his uncle, and his uncle right off the bat could tell like this isn't him, right? And you know the, he gets tied up, and uh, Miles gets tied up, and everything. He's trying to plead to his uncle, like he he you know he's trying to explain the situation. Yeah, he's like, I know you're the prowler, and he was like, No, nope. It was him. Yeah. The Miles of that universe became the problem because his dad died. Yeah. So I was like, and then there's no Spider-Man. So there's no like, it's kind of a representation of like, there's no hope in the city right now. So his uncle's still a fucking, well, I, I wouldn't say still a dickhead. He wasn't a dickhead in the original movie. No, he was, he was a pretty nice, he was a pretty nice guy in the first one. Like, yeah. I mean, you, you get to like him and everything and then you find out he's a villain and you're like, no, why? Yeah. But he still, he still has a good heart. But in yeah. this one, I was like, Hey, he's, I feel like this guy would shoot me in a in yeah, an alley. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would have run into this motherfucker in a dark alley. Use my wallet. <laughs> um, and then his nephew, the the Miles Morales of that universe, is the Prowler, and he's kind of, uh, you know, he held, he's he's instigating that, right? Mm -hmm. And and then Miles tries to explain, like, hey, my dad back at my universe is still alive. You got to let me go. I got to save him. And the Miles, you know, the Miles Two is like. Why would I do that? Yeah, like, I don't like, give up. My dad's like, dad. Your dad is alive. I was like, oh, I was like, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> My, <laughs> Miles ate a Snickers. <laughs> you're not you <laughs> when you're hungry. <laughs> that was, it was so hard. The line delivery, the animation, everything. Like, the I was tension. like, yeah, I was like, damn. Oh, man. Yeah, this movie was really well directed. It was really fucking good mm -hmm. and it ends with you know gwen and peter peter b parker getting some of the their allies together the other mm -hmm. spider-man together to to help miles uh you got spider-man 2099 still hunting him and yeah. then you have spot fucking powering up he's literally probably at god level power right now Do it for real. and he's coming from my or you know miles's dad you know to take away everything from him no i'm pretty sure not just his dad no oh, every yeah. everything and then on top of that he now miles is fucking captured in another universe yeah so God, what a fucking cliffhanger bro. yeah i was not even a post credit scene <laughs> yes okay that that's a staple for all for all marvel <laughs> stuff so bullshit they should have had one first they should have one Second, i want more <laughs> I, I need it the and the cliffhanger i mean like they they need to wrap i don't know i don't want to say anything bad about this movie because it was really fucking yeah. good and, and the fact that it angers me is that i wanted more yes and i feel like i didn't get closure yes exactly it's like damn you can't May it's kind of the end of Infinity War. I was I was just about to bring that up, but it's different <laughs> because Infinity War. Now this might be true for this. We might have to look it up. But Infinity War and Endgame were shot back to back, so we already knew. Okay, Endgame's coming out a year from now. Yeah. I, I can wait a year. Yeah. But I'm not sure if this one and the next one were shot so. back to back because if they're not, then we're waiting two, three years for the next one. <sighs> Fuck. But they they might be. I don't. I don't. <laughs> March 29, 2024. Oh, okay. Oh. It's less than a year away. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what is that, 10, 9, 10 months? Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Damn. Damn. I'll, okay. I Take back anything bad about, I said about it. It's fucking amazing. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I can't wait that long. Yeah. Holy shit. I think I want to change my A to a 10, bro. 10 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty much, like I said, the slow beginning. Yeah, because it was pretty well balanced. Like, yeah. you didn't have too much cameos. You didn't have too much uh, lingering, like, nonsense. Or, or cringy humor. Yeah, or 
too much cringy humor, you know? Yeah. Now, Spider-Man, what was it? No Way Home? Yeah. Or this one? Fuck! <laughs> um, that's a good question. Yeah. Let us know what you think. Yeah, but let us know what you think, honestly. Like, we'll, we'll leave it like that. We'll leave it like that. Are, are, are you, you don't want to answer? No, I don't want to answer. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Peter B. Parker in this movie than the last movie. Uh, it is focusing on, you know, other stuff. Like yeah, said, it was uh, more focused on Gwen and Miles. Gwen, Miles, and the multiverse rather yes. than Peter B. Parker. Oh, but he has a daughter. But, yeah. but everyone knows that from the trailer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mayday. Mayday Parker. Cute um, as fuck. Yeah, and then an another thing was just, oh, I wish we could have seen the characters that were in the first movie a little more in this movie. Yeah. They did come in at the end. They're a part of the group that's going to help Miles that Gwen mm -hmm. put together at the very end on the cliffhanger. I love Spider-Man. Uh, Noir. Noir. I used to play this this game on the Wii. It was a Spider-Man game, and you got to play as different Spider-Man. Like, from the sh was it Shattered Dimensions? Yeah, Shattered Dimensions. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I love playing as, uh, uh, as that, as that Spider-Man. Yeah. He was my favorite. And then, well, the voice actor, what was his name? Uh uh nick nick cage yeah, nicholas nick cage. cage there we go yeah. <laughs> it was great and then i wanted to see him in this movie and when i heard he wasn't gonna be in this, in this movie i was like but next movie yeah next movie you know? yeah, yeah yeah that's why i like i kind of you know it's not a negative because they did set it up for them to be mm -hmm. a, a a bigger role in the next movie um and you know when the, what they say that sometimes the sequels are not as good as the original as the, as, as the original this one did it yeah this one let's just hope that they don't fuck it up <laughs> yeah and the third one they were yeah. like spider-man three i still like Sp raymond spider-man three no i fucking i yeah. i love it i mean it was my childhood yeah, yeah. except the dance even as a kid i knew that shit was, was cringy ever, bro. <laughs> bully my wire is the best <laughs> got some dirt in your eye <laughs> 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 um, I guess one thing we haven't talked about is Spider Woman, Jessica Drew, or Jess mm -hmm. Drew in this one. Yeah. Also, Spider Woman and then um, uh, Spider Punk. Yes. So, Spider Woman, I really, I've never, I don't care. I'll be honest. <laughs> I, 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 don't care. I don't care. I, I don't care for the character. <laughs> no, I didn't care for that character. I don't care for her in this movie. She, she kind of uh, annoyed me most of the time. Like, she was pretty hard on Gwen Stacy. I felt like she, she could have been. She could have let up a little bit. Mm. And then Spider-Punk, when I first seen him, I was like, okay. I mean, she's about to be a mom. She sh should have. Why is she out fucking fighting crime and shit? Dude, for real. <laughs> What's up with the spider babies? Call CPS. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, now Spider-Punk, I didn't know how I felt about him when he was first introduced, the uh, first scene. But after they got back to the compound and seeing like, you know, what, what he stands for, what he represents, I fucking loved him. No, he was great. Yeah. Whenever, whenever I saw him, I was like, this cool motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> he was just like, I quit. Yeah, he said, I quit. He threw that shit off him. Yeah. Then, you know, he's. If he threw it away. No, he didn't throw it away, did he? Yeah. No, he threw it. He opened the portal. Then how it did away. he give it to one? I think he made one, which is weird. Because hers was like custom made. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a, that was a bit of like a, you know. But I need to go back and see it again. I know this. I would rewatch this movie again. Yeah. Well, I am because my little brother wants to watch it. Oh so. hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, he he was really cool. I loved mm -hmm. him. Yes. Well, I think we pretty much talked about everything. If Literally. If we missed anything, you guys can let us know. I mean, tell us about your favorite part in the movie. You know what made you made you get the spider tingle. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Like we said, let us know your favorite moment in the film if you've seen it um, and if you think it's better than the first one and if you enjoy it more than uh, No Way Home because most people would agree No Way Home is probably the best Spider-Man movie out right now. Yes. Um, like we said, let us know in the comments anything that you want us to know. Uh, give us a like. It really it helps out. And then consider subscribing if you liked our commentary and our movie reviews. Yes. Like right. and subscribe and drop theories in the comments. All right. Thanks, guys.